Hi, it's Kendall from Educating Abroad, and I'd like to share with you today the Sort by Attributes game that I created. It's a really fun science-linked math activity that's all for digital learning and created on Google Slides to be shared through Google Classroom. So, let me show you how it works. Included in this pack, you'll receive a lesson plan, an assessment sheet, and then 12 different digital sorting games for your students to use. I created this to be used in my pre-K classroom, and I think it's appropriate all the way up through first grade, depending on what exactly it is the students are being asked um, to classify. This is an example of the um, lesson plan that's included, and it also talks about how I would introduce this if I were physically with the students, versus digitally with my students on Zoom. There's an assessment sheet included that you're welcome to edit and use as needed, where you can see how the students are actually sorting, what level of support they need to sort, as well as um, how they're able to explain what it is that they're sorting and how they thought about the different ways of um, classifying. So a few examples of the board games that are included. There are three side shapes and four side shapes, construction vehicles and passenger vehicles, two feet and four feet, feathers and fur, farm animals and jungle animals. And I'll stop here just to show you how to use this resource or how your students will use it. So it's important that your students are not in the present mode because if they are in present, they won't be able to drag and drop um, the different images as they need to. So I've included the image to try to help students who aren't yet able to read the words, farm animals, as well as an image of the jungle so they can associate it with the jungle animals. And then down here they can just click on an item. So for example, the chicken, that's a farm animal, drag and drop. This type of snake, I think I'm going to put it over here in the jungle. Horse, farm. Gorilla, is it a farm animal? Hmm. No, that belongs in the jungle. So as you can see, this is not a self-correcting activity. It's one where the students can just think and drag and drop on their own. So there's no fear of being wrong. It's really just an um, opportunity for students to practice these critical thinking skills um, involved with classifying based on attributes. So let's just run through some of the other examples of the board games. I have land animals and water animals, items that are soft and hard, child and adult, materials, so wood and plastic, animals that fly and animals that walk, animals that are living and non-living things, as well as edible and inedible. So as you can see, these can be used for lots of different types of lessons. And it's just a really simple, fun, um, very child-friendly, accessible game that can be used on Google Classroom. So please visit my store, Educating Abroad, on Teachers Pay Teachers, if you would like this digital version, or I also have another physical, hands-on um, classifying activity very much like this. All right, thank you.